The biggest question mark in my mind in week 10 is the Pittsburgh Steelers. All the COVID, uh, all the players list, uh, that have been put on the COVID list, uh, injuries, etc. I think their eight, perfect 8-0 eight record is in serious jeopardy this week against the division rival. The Bengals are in town as 7.5 point underdogs. Cincinnati is 7-20-1 against spread versus Pitt. 2-5 against spread in Pitt. 6-1 against spread their last 7 games. It's 0-10 straight up versus Pittsburgh. The Bengals are 0-15-1 straight up on the road. That one tie was against Philly earlier this year. They're 1-6 straight up in Pittsburgh. Cincinnati has lost by 5 or less points four times this year. So it tells me they're able to keep it close. Burrow has been playing well, but the team just hasn't quite found it yet to get enough W's in the win column. The under is 4-0 versus under is 5-1 with Cincinnati at Pittsburgh. The Steelers are 5-1 against spread. Unbeaten, like I said. Perfect team. 8-0. 8-1 straight up at home in their last nine. The Steel Curtain. Here's some stats for you. The Steelers defense, if you don't think Pittsburgh is for real. Second in QBR, 79.7. Fifth in yards per game. First in completion percentage. Tied for first with 11 interception. Tied for first in sacks with 32, tied for first, and they are in first with QB hits at 83, and the Bengals have allowed 28 sacks, which is tied for 29. Big Ben, that's the big issue this week. If Big Ben plays or not, can the Steelers' defense do enough to win this game? Absolutely. I have no doubt in my mind that the Steelers can win this game. However, can they do enough to keep this to a Steelers covering a 7.5 point spread? I don't think so. If Big Ben is out, Cincinnati covers the spread. I'm going to pick the Bengals to cover the spread regardless who plays on either side and Pittsburgh to win the game.